We've been uh, friends for a while. Uh, we've uh, tonight, and I met you in '93. I think so. Spring of, and, when did and, your show start? Spring of '93. September of '93. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I came in. I met you at the Old Town Ale House in That's Chicago, right. where Robert Smigel introduced us. So you would. We hire were scouting me. for talent. And you said, "You said to me, I do not like you. Go away." Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You go to hell is what you I said. I said, you go to hell. Yeah. And then I said, I know talent. You don't have it, and you'll never make it in the business. That's exactly right. That's exactly and right. I think word I'm... Word for word is what he said. Exactly what I said. Thank you. Yeah. You should honesty. listen to me. You should listen All to me. you want. What? All you want in an interview is honesty. <laughs> <laughs> this interview didn't go the way you thought it would, with me yelling at you at the end. Uh, no, but I, I've also always admired that you have this uh, a work ethic that I... I do. I think we both... Yes. Yeah? I, you have a work I ethic. Have, I think we... Yeah, we really care about the product, and so we... Uh, and oh, I, I, you, that you, way. I learned so much from you. I don't know if you know this, but I used to write the, the ambiguously gay duo cartoons yes. with Robert Snyder. Yeah. Because I was... I am, I am ace. Carell is Gary, and I'm ace. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Hold on to my belt buckle with your teeth, friend of friends. Yeah, yeah. And... <laughs> yes. There it is. Uh, good. Very nice. Always got that loaded up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we always they... have that graphic ready to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was over at uh, 30 Rock uh, when you had the old gig, and I'm in Robert's office at SNL, and then we're typing away on the script like that, and he's got on your show, your rehearsal, because he's got to do Triumph that night yeah, or exactly. Clutch yeah. Cargo or something. Yeah. And you're sitting at your desk, and you've got uh, two of your writers uh, sitting here, and um, uh, you've done some desk piece. I can't remember yeah, what it we is. Yeah, we were, and we're you, probably going through something. You're looking yeah. at the cards like this, and you've done the desk piece, and you go, so, um, what do you guys think of this? And, and I stop, because there's something in your tone of voice. And I look at it, and they went, yes, and I, I, think, I think it works. Yeah. I think it works. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. And you went like this. You looked at them, and you went, good enough gang rides again. <laughs> <laughs> And I went, oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Sweet and sour Jesus was that <laughs> just agonizing to look at. And yeah. I was about three months away from starting the Colbert Report. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I said, I can't, that's agonizing. And Robert goes, what are you going to do? He's got to say the jokes. Yeah. And I went, oh, OK, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, because You just got to make sure you have a good line with it, that's all. Yeah. 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 Yeah, terrible, terrible. I'm You're a terrible, terrible person. I'm a terrible person. Terrible person. And you privately, have... not on camera, like oh, privately. Oh, no, no, I'm one of these, like, on camera. Oh, 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 no. When the cameras go off, the stuff yeah. he says, you could never take back. The minute... <laughs> the minute we cut away from this show tonight, I'm diving into the crowd and just fighting everyone. Oh, yeah, sure. That's a tradition. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna...